Do y'all couldn't see how crusty I am? Like, thank God it wasn't in focus. <laughs> and you couldn't see how crusty I really was. But good morning. It is Wednesday. It's 9.50. And a bitch is literally up to go shake ass. This early. I haven't worked a day shift in a minute. I got hired. Um, as y'all saw, a bitch got hired. It's got to be my first day. I'm a little annoyed that I gotta go so early, like 11.30, because I already know like I'm about to be sitting there. I don't have my tripod, so bitch, just watch this and listen to me talk. <laughs> but I already know that it's about to be slow as hell, so it's gonna be just early, I'm gonna just be sitting there. But it's also like I'm getting to see, one, what it's like going in at this time, if this is what I wanna do to not pay a tip out. Two, what that early crowd be looking like. And three, it gives me time to just get ready by myself and be in a locker room. Like, <laughs> I do not have to interact with no energies. <sighs> so, yeah. I'm sore as hell. But I really didn't even do shit. I was in a yoga room yesterday. My nose ring be falling out when I go to sleep. And I don't like that because this is an L-shaped one. But it's a short one. But okay, yeah, I'm about to get in the shower, wash my ass. My pussy don't like need to be shaved, but it needs to be. Like, it's, you know how when it's like first starting, starting to go back, like literally like baby pokes, bitch. <laughs> but rumors is a new glove and I just don't got the, like bitch, I want my shit to be bald. But, since I am about to be working at new clubs, I guess, I guess I'm gonna go get my wax. The wax that y'all have been telling me to go get for like two fucking years. I'm gonna go fucking do it, bitch, BRB. You already know, I got my five blade. And really, you already know that I got my motherfucking cup of oil, bitch. Yes, still to this day. I was tempted to shave my arms because I already told y'all like I get hairy and I just don't want to be walking up to no nigga hairier than him asking for some fucking money. I'm sorry y'all about the angle. Y'all just gonna have to. No, I can't even do that like that. Y'all can't even see me. Okay, but I'm excited about getting a wax because I want to get a full body. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Like, can y'all please let me know? Like, be honest, bitch. Don't be capping. What is the pain level like? Because I've been told that if I can sit through a tattoo, I can sit through a wax. I just feel like those aren't even comparable. And y'all know I do not dry off outside of the tub. But my ass, I had left the towel out here, so I had to get out. It's just something about getting out the shower, not being dry, that don't sit right with me. Okay, about to oil myself up. I'm gonna oil lightly, like I'm really only putting it on here because I just shaved and I don't wanna be dry. I'm not gonna do a lot because I do plan on getting on the pole. I think they pole spins, I really don't know. I wasn't paying that much attention when I was in there. But I sure hope they do. Y'all already know we're getting the oil on the vagina. Okay, I'm gonna see y'all when I get dressed. I'm literally just about to like finish my skincare and put on what I put on. I gotta go stop at the gas station. But right now I'm doing what I'm talking about. It's I'm gonna get there at 10.55. I got maps pulled up just so I can track time. So yeah, I was thinking curlies. Gas light on. <laughs> Ignore my tired day, bitch. I'm also riding with a donut. Let me fucking tell y'all. Retrograde has been motherfucking retrograding since shadow period, bitch. Literally. But the night, yeah, it was the night of, because yesterday was the first day. 
night of retrograde coming in i get a flat tire we love that so i got a donut on i literally was at the gas station 25 minutes away from home and my friend whose house i'm at right now ebony was staying with me i mean was riding with me and we was like what the fuck because <laughs> we heard the little noise that shit was flat as fuck and she asked a kind black male to help us change the tire and he did that was so nice of him so yeah i was saved but bitch i got a donut so i gotta go to discount tire but i just feel like i gotta make some money before i do that i'm trying to find my other phone so i can play music i'm about to turn on my playlist called yeah yeah why is this shit in and out of focus yeah it's literally like all the old bad bitch shit because don't play with me i listen to this every day and i'm telling y'all it's just doing something for my spirit like okay i got a little fat but my shorty told me that he like it like that she get traffic tunes and y'all better enjoy the show and y'all better know that i got the vote goals so don't try to come for me no diamonds on my neck got diamonds on my grill ain't got no diamonds on my neck ain't got no diamonds on my grill i'm a boss <laughs> okay i am here it's 11 25 and i don't know if i have to be like dressed and ready by 11 30 or like since i'm here right now that counts <laughs> But I'm here. Uh, my dance bag is in my trunk. So I'm about to get that. I bought new shoes. Y'all already know. Damn, I just ripped the fuck out of this bag. But yeah, I'm about to bring this, my money bag, and those shoes. And have this little bag of some outfits. The rest of my outfits in my other bag. But yeah, y'all, the footage is now about to begin on the phone. Enjoy the show, bitch.
just I just came back here to tell y'all, but I danced. This is what I have so far. Yo, why the white man gonna ask me? That's your real hair? And try to laugh. Yeah. Nigga, I don't wanna keep key with you, bitch. Yes, this is my real hair. But why'd you wear me? I feel like he was trying to be funny, because why'd you wear me? so happy to be in the sun right now i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i couldn't wait to leave y'all it was so slow it was so slow and then like i was really observing y'all know that's what i always do on my first day at new places i did not expect that to stay that's what i always do my first day at new places is really observe i got on stage twice the hell lie i got on stage once because it was nobody really tipping on stage. But the girls be like walking the bar. It reminds me of Showtime <laughs> at Emperor's in Savannah when I worked there. We had something called Showtime, so it would be like at 11 o'clock, all the girls had to get on stage and walk around it. That's what they do here on the bar, just walk around and everybody give you a little tip. But I couldn't do that because them new shoes were slippery as fuck. And who? I'm sorry, y'all. It's so hot. Yeah, overall, I liked it. One of the girls told me she loves me and she watched my videos. So if you watch this, hey, girl. There was another girl. She was really nice. She told me if I ever need to talk to anybody, like have any questions about the club, come to her because she wished somebody would have talked to her. And she was really sweet. I'm not going back home right now, but I'm about to see how far it is. Damn. Okay, so when I actually, when I leave from where I stay, it's gonna be an hour and 26 minute drive. I feel like I'm in Savannah still traveling to fucking Jacksonville. I mean, it's a little traffic included in that. I honestly think I would like, I'm gonna like Gold Rush better. Just because, I don't know, the vibe was more uplifting like when I was in the back in the locker room. Not saying that it was anything going on here in the locker room because it wasn't, but it's just more so. I don't know. I just felt like dull, bitch. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know why I haven't pulled off yet. Don't ask. There was no DJ. That's another thing why I feel so dull. It's like it wasn't lit. Apparently, there's no DJ for day shift Wednesday and Thursday or Tuesday and Wednesday. But yeah. I'm about to go. I currently have a 43 minute drive, 44. Oh, another thing that kind of like shook me. So it's, I asked how much VIP cost. I'm gonna see, oh, I knew y'all was gonna stay. I asked how much VIP cost because a customer wanted to go back there. And apparently he's never had to pay to go like back there, but now the way they do it for night shift is how they do it on day shift. Like you have to pay for the sections and for VIP 40. And she was like, it's 40, then whatever your fee is. I've never had no like, <laughs> I never got to make my own fees for the dances. Like if it's 40 for 30 minutes, then that's just, I would get a club a tip out of that. But usually for 30 minutes, it would be one, like 150, somewhere around there. I wouldn't say I had a good time, but I didn't have a bad time. 
and at least I didn't have to pay a tip out. If I would have had to pay a tip out though, I would have been mad as hell. But I didn't have to pay nothing here. I just made some extra money. I'm grateful because I didn't have it before. I'm nervous to do the five day money challenge. Especially if I got a work day shift only. But I honestly feel like the way that shit looking, they wouldn't even trip about me trying to stay for night shift. Like, Welcome to my sorry ass money count. <laughs> you laugh, you laughing at my fucking stack? It's me as fuck. Cause I didn't have nothing to do. <laughs> but sit there and go straighten this shit out, bro. This ain't nothing. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> okay, time to make your Head to the kitchen and suit up. 40. Oh, yeah. You have 8 hours to complete your cakes. And get ready. One, 10. 111. 111. <laughs> <laughs> I made 111. So, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. If I would have had to pay, today it would have been 50. I would have been pissed if I only profited $50. So honestly, it's looking like if I do go back, it's gonna have to be early. Cause who paying? Good morning. No, cause you do have to do how Yeah. It's 10.34, I got energy. <laughs> when you take off said, a day, when you take off a day from work and then you come back with a new hairstyle type shit. Y'all, I have so much crust from y'all can see. I got so much crust from the edge control. So it's giving about to do a little swoop to cover it up. But we're definitely giving pony it again. It's definitely time for me to wash my hair. Oof, how you burn your own motherfucking hair? That's not okay. Oh, y'all, the polls that rumor don't spin. That makes me so fucking sad. Like, what the fuck is a bitch supposed to do with that? And I don't know if that's just an Atlanta thing. Like, y'all got some elite strippers in this bitch for real. Cause so far, I don't think I've witnessed a spinning bowl. Bitch, my fault's at home, okay? Don't look like a me. I guess while I get ready, I'll tell y'all some of the things that customers said to me. So, <laughs> cause y'all know, this is my first time this and new. So, it actually wasn't as bad as I thought or expected. Nobody necessarily tried me at all. Um, like, the most touching that was done was like, say I'm like, you know, y'all still <laughs> So I'm like twerking, they're just like, you know, soft, that's soft. So I get told that a lot, that my ass is soft. And I kept getting told that it's pretty, um, which, you know, makes me a bit uncomfortable because why is you looking? <laughs> it is like, of course you're gonna look, but to make myself be able to do it, I've been telling myself mentally that like, they're not really looking, you're just doing it, but no. They be looking like the couple. He um she wanted me to dance with him, and so you know I'm dancing or whatever. She had ended up leaving and going to the uh to like get her application and stuff to apply. So when she came back. By this time I'm new because he had through money and they have rules of like certain amount of money is when you have to get naked. I wasn't super following that, like, especially not when I, um, was dancing. Like, if I didn't feel like it, I just didn't do it. I don't give a fuck if it's $10 on the floor. I think that's the requirement. Like, once they throw five topless, ten nude, bitch who I need to see you throwing more than that. So yeah, it took me a second to get naked. But even after I did this money count, I just feel like, bitch, you got nude for $111, like, yuck. 
or whatever. But anyways, I was telling y'all this to say, he had saw me new, of course, while she was gone. And when he came back, he literally was like tapping on her, telling her to look. And she's like, <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, yeah, that shit pretty. <laughs> Just like awkward. But honestly, I saw a lot of different um like dance styles. I'm gonna have to keep shit real cute today on God. <laughs> we can't not be doing too much moving and back flipping because bitch We got a whole swoop to hold down. I gotta leave now. <laughs> I got like 10 minutes to spare But I'm gonna go ahead and throw my lashes And then that way when I get to the club All I gotta do is throw my outfit And go check in So yesterday I did my check in wrong I was a little embarrassed <laughs> Because nobody like It's like they're not treating me Like it's my first day And I guess it's because they assume That I've worked at other clubs in Atlanta So I know how it goes here but y'all like that shit is dead as different than it was in Savannah. Like it's completely different process for hiring, process while you're working, prices, just how everything operates. Like all of it is different. So I didn't remember to go clock in. So I literally have to clock in. Like I'm working at 9 to 5, like bitch, put in my pen, last four digits of social to clock in. I clock in, I clock out. After I clock in, I gotta sign in. Then I gotta go to the bar and tell her that I was here so that I can get my free meal and shit. I didn't do none of that because who the fuck told me to do that? Nobody. So I actually cannot put on my lashes because my lash glue is in my dance bag, which is in the car. So I'll be putting on lashes once I get to work. For now, I'm just gonna spray my face with my spritz rose water. It's like a ton of rose water. I just like it because it feels good. Smells good. There was somebody with my money back. So honestly, y'all, I don't want to carry this no more. Not gonna lie to you. But there was this one girl, the girl I told y'all talked to me. She was just so cute and like bougie. Like, like that was her stripper vibe. Like she had on her hoops. She had a little purse as her money bag. And I feel like Sam might need a purse, you know? Like something like my bag. Just not this one because it's so big and heavy. And because I'll be damned if that gets messed up in the club. But that's what it's giving. Y'all, I'm so upset. It says I'm going to get there at 11.44. Ignore my screen protector. But bitch, 11.44, I was trying to get there at 11.30. And yeah, there's just traffic. So I'm a little annoyed by that because one, there's no reason to get there that early unless I'm getting free tip out. And you gotta be on the floor at 11.30. And I could still go and I could still go later today like mid shift but i just don't want to pay the tip out <laughs> when yesterday was looking how it was looking like it's just not giving somewhere that i care to pay to work right now but you know i'm not trying to judge it because today is going to be thursday hell and the club itself is a hit or miss like i'm fully aware of that but i'm just trying to be smart <laughs> Let's go ask Ebony what I should do. What should I do? <sighs> she was no fucking help, so I will let y'all know what I end up doing, bitch. But I'm just really irritated that I'm gonna get there 10 minutes late, like, and they might fuck with me, but like, what if y'all fucking don't? Good morning. Today we're giving very much again. It's giving Japanese and Indian. They gonna like me today, they gonna like me today. Look at you. Yeah, I'm doing good on time today. Not gonna be late. As of right now, if I live right now, I'll be there at 10:48. Yeah, I just wanted to show y'all my little hair before I wrap it up. I think it's cute. It's real cute. You can see all the tags. 
We are entering the Lilo. Y'all, I didn't even show y'all the fucking tire, bitch. Look at that shit. <laughs> I'm dead ass though. After this shift, I'm done driving on Lilo and her little donut, okay? I'm gonna be a good car mom and go get my baby a new tire. But I just really feel some type of motherfucking way because I fucking went to Hyundai in Savannah about four or five times. Nandy can vouch because the bitch had to pick me up every time to get these tire fixed. So it's just like, how have I gotten tire fixed so many times for them to still not be fucking fixed? Make it make sense. I am here. My lips are dry as fuck, so I'm about to put some chapstick on. It's 11:14 on the Did Not Eat, and I'm not late. You already know me. Wasn't about to pay them no fucking house fee, so I got my ass up before I could pee. Yo. <laughs> Where's my lip gloss? Ain't no way. Please tell me you're lying. It better be in here. I was gonna be sick as fuck if I just pulled up here to work with dry lips that I had to maintain the whole day. <laughs> like, I'm starving. I didn't eat my cereal. I forgot to grab the little to-go ones. We're packing my shoes. Just put them on in this brown bag that I got with me. And then the rest of my stuff is in my dance bag. These shoes actually are a little uncomfortable. Like, I wish I would have packed my um, shingle ones with me. Because I would definitely wear those over these. But I feel like it's just because I need to break them in more. So I'm not tripping. But bitch, that shit is uncomfortable as fuck. You hear me? back on the camera but i just noticed that while i was working i got a call back from gold rush hey michaela um this is sharice from the gold rush i was exactly. just calling to tell you that your um background came back good um you can stop by to get your paperwork so you can go um to get your permit thank you okay so a bitch got hired background check came back clear i really was worried like are they gonna tell Mr. Reese that a bitch got arrested January 15th. Are they gonna tell her that? And even though it ain't nothing but license, you know, I don't know how the government works and what the fuck show up. So I was like, are they gonna tell her my business? But yeah, y'all, today was better than my first day shift for sure. Um, I just gotta really like make myself talk. Like, I don't know why I don't be having the interest, the energy, the nothing. Like, but I need to make myself talk more. And it's really the only reason why I'm not is because I don't know how to really work the club yet. Damn. I don't know how to really work the club yet. And it's like, I be feeling like my real tactics don't really work on these type of customers. Like, I really been milking the white men that come in here to no cap. <laughs> because I know how to work them type of customers but these people like when I fuck I'm just driving all types of crazy when I um go work in Jacksonville and that's more you know urban they don't want you to talk like you just walk up and start shaking ass and they're throwing money but in here is like you're really like damn near doing a VIP dance just on the floor for ten dollars a song unless they start throwing money um so i don't be knowing how to really like go up and approach but 
Bree was just telling me, like, you know, everybody got their own way that they work the club, so just do you. So I've been trying. But yeah, I was on stage more. I was really throwing pussy today on stage, bitch. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, I got naked the first time the other day when I got on stage, but I wasn't doing a lot. But like this time I was just dancing as if I was fully clothed. Damn, I gotta stop and get gas. How fucking annoying. I don't wanna go to this gas station right here though. It's not looking. Four dollars. Gas is high as hell over here. That gas station just looking a little too hot. We'll go to this one right here. Cause bitch, the gas light is on. Pulling up the little Chevron. I wish somebody would pay for a bitch gas. Like, I don't want to be nice. My battery's about to die, so... I guess I will see y'all when I get back to her house. I'll probably end up doing my money count on my phone because I don't feel like trying to switch the battery and doing the fucking most. So, yeah, I'll see y'all when I get in. It only threw me $20. So I'm like, let me put my shit back on. Like, I had on a little fishnet outfit, so I just took the panties off over it. Like, I didn't take the whole net off. Mm -hmm. He's wanting me to take the whole net off. So he's asking why I'm not. And I was like, if I'm being honest, it's because you only done threw $20. What the fuck am I getting butt-ass naked for? Mm -hmm. And he was like, you're not even allowing me enough time to throw all the money. And then he showed me the other stack he had. And I'm like, oh, shit, I don't fucked up. But whatever, because I still feel how I feel. Yeah, I'm like, I still feel how I feel. And he was like, ain't you supposed to get naked if it's a certain amount thrown? Ain't that what they rules say? I say, yeah, I don't care about their rules, though. Like, we're in the back, so this is up to me. And I was like, didn't I tell you we'll see as in we'll see i always tell it exactly how i mean it so i meant what i said which is we'll see so we will see me naked when i see you throw all of this money mm -hmm. turn me up like, this is not twenty dollars that's what i'm saying you what do you mean another bitch and that's the thing a bitch had um he asked her to go to the back i ain't noticed until i had went back there she asked me how was he in the back because that was her first customer since she'd been working here and he always asked to go but she said no and I was like, hell, he been cool. He just begging me to, like, get naked and shit. And he kept trying to, like, we smoked two blunts. And he was still trying to get me to drink and stuff. And I kept telling him, like, nigga, I'm not trying to be lit. I'm trying to take your money. Sonny came, though. He gave me some weed. <laughs> My weed fell out. He gave me a boo. And hell, yeah, I'm about to get high. <laughs> Bitch, it ain't shit else to do. I got a little 50. Hey. It don't be shit the fuck else to do. But today I was drinking wine. Not wine. Yeah. <laughs> little, little Moscato. Bye. I was feeling real good. And I felt cute. You see my eyes? Yes, ma'am. The little black under eye. I think it's a little cute tip, bitch. And then some girl did the um bottom lashes. But yeah, that was my shift today. Then some fucking Mexican. Why the fuck he thought he was going to touch my pussy for $2, bitch? <laughs> for ten fucking dollars. I grabbed his hand so fast. Like I'm literally standing up. I felt him come and grab that shit. Like nigga, relax. But my shit's still fucked up. And I iced it twice today. Yeah, you don't need to go to the club, bitch. Shut <laughs> up. Your body ain't ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought I got a little bit right here. Bitch, I was on stage B. So hold up, honey. Let's make sure y'all can't see you for free. Dead. This is literally so I got my little weed, and then this is all the money that I made. So to stay until 10.30, I ended up having to pay $30 for a little layover. I tipped the house mom five, I tipped the DJ like three, and then I bought my waist beep and that arm cuff for 40, 20, 40, 60, 80, 50, 50, 60. This is 160, 210, so 210 big beans. 
Hell yeah. When I was smaller than this, like when I very first started this, I was little as hell. I used to make so much money. I've never made more money than when I be skinny. Especially when like an out of town person come. That ain't used to seeing like slim black girls. They be amazed. Like the cut the Asians. They should be like, oh my gosh, I've never seen a beautiful black woman. <laughs> like, yeah. I just feel like this is not good for a Friday and to have been there all fucking day. Yeah, like, that's the only thing I can't do. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bitch. Go rush your TV tomorrow. Yeah. Sonny was telling me about it. He be going there. He was saying that it be lit. And that the club itself is, like, upscale. But the audience, the crowd be a little little ghetto because of where it's at bro like shit that's fine with me as long as i can be my bougie self that's fine and that seems to be clashing in rumors like niggas think that i owe y'all bitch you're here to see me fuck my way or no way but them bitches be freaky it be giving very much just like, whatever you like, like anything for you. Like that's why he got so upset that I didn't get naked when he telling me to. Cause no, them I'm bitches saying, really like, be like anything for you. Regardless of that um, bougie shit, niggas are just used to do anything for nothing, bitches. Like yeah, not me. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Two ten to thirty. 250, 270, 272. We have made 272. Hmm. Pathetic. Very pathetic. Oh, that's the whole thing? Yeah. Like, that club is not giving because that's yeah, it's not, not, that's still not like, enough for how much longer you stay. Yeah. And it's like, just thinking, okay, I be trying to, you know, make it make sense. Like, I am their day shift in hell. I don't really be counting me getting there early as like, damn, you've been here all day not making no money because I, common sense, I'm not going to make no money. Mm -hmm. um, but it's still just like, I just feel like I'm getting naked for this. Like, that's really how I feel. Like, I don't got over the whole naked thing. Like, I'm comfortable doing it, but it's still just like, I don't have to. Like, I can make this sitting from, down. Yeah, like, bitch, at home on the internet. Like... <laughs>